nearly a million years ago we wouldn't have been on a beach but on the banks of a huge river and we would have been surrounded by animals such as mammoths and rhinos and even early humans. Behind me here is the famous Chroma forest bed. It's uh, about half a million to two million years old and packed full of fossils that have been found here over the past 250 years or so. So the purpose of coring is to look at the sediments below the beach and to try and map the extent of the various deposits we can see here at Haysborough. So we use uh, the coring uh, equipment to core down and recover material and to record the stratigraphy below the beach and to then compare uh, each borehole as we work our way along the beach and we've been able to map the deposits uh, along this stretch of the coastline. <laughs> As well as coring below the beach, we've used various geophysical methods to map the deposits. We've used ground penetrating radar and resistivity uh, surveys. And using that alongside the coring and the exposures that we've created, we've been able to map in quite a lot of detail uh, the, the deposits across this kilometre of the beach. Since 2000, we've been finding a remarkable array of things on the beach. In fact, um, the whole reason for being here was uh, a local chap, uh, Mike Chambers, was walking his dog along the beach, and he found this piece here. And this is what we call a hand axe. It's been humanly flaked on uh, two sides to form a really useful cutting tool. This particular piece was probably made about half a million years ago, 500,000 years ago. But since then we've been finding a whole array of other artefacts, uh, flint tools, really sharp, still sharp, and some of these date back to as early as maybe 850,000 years ago or possibly even 950,000 years ago. And this makes these uh, stone tools, the earliest stone tools and evidence of humans in northern Europe. And this is all part of the Chroma Forest Bed Fossil Project and you can help us by bringing along your fossils and flint artefacts to Norwich Castle Study Centre or the British Museum.